Sister Joanne Iannotti, and I work here at Wisdom House as Art and Spirituality Coordinator, and part of my responsibilities is to work with a committee of artists in terms of choosing exhibits for our gallery. And I'm really happy to say that uh, this year is the 20th anniversary of the gallery, because we see the gallery here at Wisdom House as a space for contemplation, as a space for reflection. People have the opportunity to, uh, to reflect uh, on our grounds, to reflect in our chapel, but also to reflect in, um, in our gallery. And so that's the way we view the mission of the gallery, and that's how it supports the mission of, of Wisdom House. Wisdom House is an interfaith retreating conference center, and we're uh, here in Litchfield County since 1965. At that time, a group of sisters called the Daughters of Wisdom came here and created a house of spiritual formation for young women who were interested in being sisters in the Catholic Church. Over the time, over these years, the, uh, the identity of the place has expanded to include people of all faiths who are, see, uh, who are very sincerely in their lives seeking wisdom. So that's what we're about uh, in, in general. Now, in relation to uh, the exhibit that we're opening this afternoon, I've only known Lori a couple of months. But in reading Lori's bio and in being with Lori, I think I have to say one thing definitely fits, and that is Lori and movement go together. <laughs> Just listen to her bio. Lori was born in Dearborn, Michigan. I'm going to put up one. She has her BA degree in graphic design and photography from Illinois State University. Two. She then continued her education at the School of Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. The next move. And then, while living in Rhode Island, Lori created and exhibited her work from September 2001 to December 2003, where she also taught photography and ran the gallery at the nonprofit Center for Arts and Spirituality. She continued her education then at the Vermont College of Fine Arts, where she received her MFA in 2008. During graduate school, while she moved to Connecticut, and she began working at the Gallery 46 and the Vernon Arts Commission. In 2010, she became the executive director of that Vernon Community Arts Center. And at the present time, she is part of the Department of Art at Western State Connecticut University, where she is in the position in the Department of Art as, a, as someone who supports the BA and MFA programs and assists with all invitational and student exhibits. She's a woman on the move. And when you go and see her work, you will see that her work is movement. Her work is in motion. And it in draws us into this very intriguing title for the exhibit, The Distance Between Language and Light. And so I present to you, Lauren Robot. Man, I appreciate that. Um, yes, I am a person on the move, and you don't even know the, the most of it. <laughs> um, Perhaps it was because my parents were gypsies and we moved off. We lived in an old um, ice cream truck converted into a trailer and we moved all over the western states. We lived in Colorado and mm -hmm. Utah and New Mexico, Arizona. And we did, um, they, they sold uh, jewelry, Indian jewelry. And um, I think that really influenced me. Um, I, so I might have some nomad blood in me. Um, but it also, I think, influenced my work that was infiltrated later on in life. I'm not sure if it came out early, but it definitely came out later. Um, one of the earliest memories was um, the East Tower in the Grand Canyon, where there's a mural that spirals all the way up these stairs. And, you know, in a way, that's kind of what the piece is doing in the, in the gallery over here. It's, um, you kind of have a spiral movement while you're um, experiencing it. Um, and it changes as you follow it around. 